Today we're looking at a Del Sen Jama Gran Fig. It is a Spanish variety originating from the eastern end of the island of Mallorca. And it actually gets its name from a term that was used for Mallorcan farm workers, people who are very familiar with agriculture in the area. I have several pieces ripening on this tree today, so I'll be looking forward to trying them. Uh, I also have to mention I have a few crispy leaves here. Uh, these are due to a watering mistake on my part and nothing to do with the variety itself. It has been a productive tree for me. You can see putting on figs at every node going up. Uh, but what's a bit unusual about it is that I don't typically have so many ripening at the same time. So I should have a few samples to take in and uh, taste today. The tree is in its second year for me, and with the 15 gallon pot that it sits in, you can see that it's about, say, at least a good six, probably approaching seven feet tall. So I'd say it's grown with about medium vigor. Can okay, uh, get closer to this branch so you can see some of the productivity. The leaves tend to be mostly trilobe from what I've seen, and a few uh, five lobes examples as well. All right, uh, let's pick a few of the ripe ones and see what they look like on the inside. Here are a few of the figs that I've picked today, and I'm really glad that I have several available so you can get a better sense for the variability in size and color. These range from 17 to 33 grams, making them a medium-sized fig in my climate. I don't remember which one's which anymore. Uh, I'll pull these two closer so you can get a sense for the coloring. Uh, you can see the one on the left is much larger and mostly a greenish yellow color with some uh, sh maybe sugar spotting. The one on the right is almost all purple and much smaller. And I'll take a couple more here just so you can see those as well. So decent differences in size and coloring in this fig. And there's also going to be some differences in the ripeness, so we'll see what those look like when I cut them open. And then uh, at the bottom, you'll see they are fairly consistently are going to have a uh, open eye. And I'll pick a couple more again for comparison. All right, uh, let's cut them open and see what they look like on the inside. Here are a few of the figs cut open. I left a couple uncut just for artistic effect. Uh, the co interior color is fairly consistent and I'll bring a couple pieces closer to the camera so you can get a better look. It is a deep red color and it appears to be a fairly thick and jammy texture. So let me try the piece in my right hand first. Wow, that is for sure a top tier fig. It has a smooth texture, a very sweet taste and a nice berry flavor. Uh, reminiscent of a strawberry. I, I really enjoy it and I can see that the hype it's been getting is well deserved. I'm going to pick up another piece here just so the camera stays focused and I will try the, the other piece in my left hand. Yeah that, that is also fantastic. So definitely a top tier fig. Uh, the flavor is that of a strawberry. Great sweetness, fantastic texture. Uh, there is a slight chewiness to the skin, uh, but nothing that, that bothers me. It actually kind of gives it a cool dimension. I, I would certainly recommend this one and will keep it in my collection. Uh, I hope you found this video useful. Thank you for watching.